Bill Mao was born 1838 in Grass Valley, California. At age three, he traveled to Baguio City in the Philippines with his mom, younger sister, and dad, who had a job in the hills as a gold miner. His dad was named William, his mom Margaret, and his little sister was named Eileen. When World War II started, the Mal family went into hiding to the jungle above the gold mines where William Mal, his father, worked at. They lived in the jungle for one and a half years where his mother gave birth to another daughter. In January 1942. William often traveled south to the town we sought for food. This was about a 30 mile round trip. After one and a half years of hiding in the jungle, the Mal's were finally captured and taken to the nearby camp home. How were you guys treated in the camp? You have to use your imagination a little bit. Okay. You're in your favorite class. And all of a sudden, you are told you can't go anywhere but around the school grounds. And all you have are the people in that room. So how are you going to live? William Mao was brutally hung and beat by his thumbs almost to the point of death. The Japanese started to torture people, such as William Mao, for information on the U.S. Army that they most likely did not have. William Mao was tortured, being hung by his thumbs, having cigarettes and matches shoved up his nose, and being beaten all at the same time. He eventually got polio and was originally 6 foot 2 and 190 pounds and shriveled down to 125 pounds. The mouths were then sent to a prisoner of war camp in Manila. had invaded the Philippines and worked their way north and eventually reached Manila rescuing the Mal's. Though Bill, Margaret, Eileen, and Linda, the new baby, got to return home in somewhat good condition, William had to receive immediate attention for his injuries and polio. Mrs. William Mal, M-O-U-L-E, of Grass Valley, California, and children, Billy, Eileen, and Linda. We left the, into the, to go into the mountains of Luron. Later on, in the early part of January, my baby was born. And from there, we lived very comfortably until November. The Japanese then drove us out, and we almost starved to death while in hiding. On the Thanksgiving of 42, my husband went out and killed a cow with a small jackknife in order to keep us living, and that meat was all we had for Thanksgiving. Later on, in 43, we were captured, and there we were brought to Camp Home. We lived comfortably as we could in a concentration camp, but now that our boys are here, we're waiting to go home and live again. <laughs> no. After William Mao got back from the Philippines and got his life back on its feet, he wrote two books. One was called The Little Mal History. It was more of an audio biography in a third person. Didn't get too deep into the Philippines. But another book he wrote named, named God's Arms Around Us was about the Philippines. It was about all the personal memories he had of being a prisoner of war and hiding out in the forests above where he worked. He was not an author. He just wanted to get these memories down because if you ask me, having to survive in the wild and being 
brutally tortured by the Japanese is kind of something you'd want people to remember for something that you did and you survived through. Yeah.